The study that we've just been funded to complete is uh, really addresses a, a primary problem that's been identified for many years for individuals uh, that really can't get access to specialized brain rehabilitation services um, after they leave the hospital um, when they've had a traumatic brain injury. So these acute services are extremely highly developed and, and uh, provide you know, excellent comprehensive care, but when an individual leaves that setting to where they live, these, these services aren't available. It really addresses the problem with access to these services and then the capacity of, of the system to provide them. And, and that's really the, the research problem um, that we're addressing with this, with this study. We want to connect with these individuals remotely after they leave because access is such a problem um, uh, and, and provide these services in a coordinated way. Um, the, the study includes individuals that are hospitalized uh, for traumatic brain injury in Minnesota, Iowa, North Dakota, and South Dakota. And these areas of the country, the upper Midwest, has a really high uh, density or high numbers of, of uh, populations of individuals that have a high risk for having problems with access and that those are in elderly individuals, um, individu individuals in rural areas and Native Americans and so um, our goal is to connect with these individuals in multiple different ways to try to uh, work in partnership with their local providers um, and using the uh, model of care and the resources that we've developed here at Mayo Clinic. But Mayo Clinic is also uh, a pioneer in using uh, electronic communication technology to provide and coordinate care remotely. So we will be connecting um, our brain rehabilitation clinic resources to um, an, an individual in their community, um, their local providers, and, and also we will be using these kinds of uh, electronic uh, communication technologies to connect them with each other so there can be uh, peer support and, and educational uh, opportunities and experiences um, so, that, so that not only can we provide and coordinate care, but that each individual and their families and their providers can be connected to each other who have similar concerns and similar educational needs. and, and and can also have similar problems and can get support from each other. So Mayo Clinic is a, is a pioneer in providing remote connections. And that goes everywhere from, from calling someone on the telephone, writing them a letter, but of course also by uh, uh, Facebook pages and um, uh, uh, website and, and virtual uh, reality spaces and, um, and Skyping and, and electronic consultations and e-health platforms and, and we're going to be using all of those uh, technologies depending on an individual's uh, technology that they have in their communities or the skills that they, that they have or their providers have to make these connections and the trial is called the CONNECT trial because it's the connection between our practice, uh, the brain rehabilitation model of care at Mayo Clinic to an individual their families and caregivers, the local providers, and then to connect them with each other. And so that's why we call it Connect.